Hello everybody and welcome back to Raven Song Gaming. It's Raven. How are you guys doing? Um, so I'm going to try something new. <laughs> it's not really new. I've tried it before and it didn't work out very well. We'll see what happens when my fan kicks on when I start playing, but hopefully um, doing things this way will allow me to record a rude truck. <laughs> will allow me to record a voiceover while I'm playing, which is kind of the point of a let's play. I mean, doing the voiceover in post is fine, but it's obviously double the recording time then, and it just kind of lacks a, a reactive, I don't know, quality. So I kind of want to see if I can do it. Not, it doesn't really matter so much for Diablo, but it does for some of the other games I'm going to be playing. So, um, a couple of things up front. I'm in a new location, yes. However, there's a ton of traffic noise and unfortunately the street right behind me, uh, and I'm in the only place that I can, that I can really, uh, be in right now for like recording in this apartment. So, um, it's very noisy and there's a lot of semis and motorcycles and stuff that pass by. So I will do my very best to mitigate that noise. And I think what I'm going to do to mitigate it is to simply have a rain, birds, forest sort of, uh, if, you, if you're over on my horror channel, then you'll know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to use the same uh, sort of ambiance <laughs> um, and hope that it covers up some of the noise from the fan, from the street, from whatever. So I can mitigate that noise a little bit, um, but I can't overcorrect it otherwise the audio is going to sound really tinny and gross so uh it's a temporary place that i'm staying i move into my real place in a couple months which will be great like in july i think um but i'm here till the end of june and i don't want to just not do gaming content so we might we might have to deal <laughs> with uh some less than wonderful audio for a while and um, I don't really care about the dialogue so much now that I'm not doing the campaign mode. So uh, I think it'll be it'll be fine. Um, so this is Mortana, I believe is what I named her. She is my yes, uh, my seasonal necromancer. Um, I do have a seasonal wizard as well for season 23 of Diablo. Um, b uh, but I am playing that with another person and it's just sort of like a private game. So I won't be recording any of that. Um, so that's just sort of a character that I'm having fun with on my own. But the Necromancer has been kind of a staple, yes, of this channel. So, uh, given that we either just wrapped up or will soon be wrapping up, depending on how these get edited and, and put out, um, I think it's that we will have just wrapped up the campaign mode of the Necromancer playthrough. Um, and so this is the season 23 Necromancer. It's leveling, which is kind of awful. I hate leveling, but, um, it's just slow and ridiculous, but I am ultimately going for the Masquerade Bone Spear build. Uh, that is the one that I am going for this, this season. Uh, I don't know why I don't have a follower yet. That was ridiculous, but, um, that's, oh, I don't think I can hire one yet, can I? Also, my mouse, my, wow, words are hard. Uh, my mouse is glitchy as hell today, so I'm terribly sorry if I look like, uh, my character's drunk. <laughs> uh, she can't help it. She, she can't help it. This, this mouse, and also my computer's gonna freeze, like, every two seconds. I, I already know. Um... I haven't actually properly shut down this computer in like two weeks, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you you should do that once in a while if you want your computer to operate. <laughs> um, that was fun. There we go. All right. Um, but yes, so I'm dealing with a, a lot of difficulties today. That was fast. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we can deal with those. And, um, yeah. So I hope the background noise and the rain and all of that, I hope that's okay for you guys. I do try to keep a chill vibe in most, all, pretty much all my channels, honestly. It's kind of what I'm after. Is this, is this bone? 
that, that's Bone Spike. That's Bone Spear. What up? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. Um, so Bone Spear, I will end up using. Yes, I like this. I like you a lot. Come here. Let me kill you. Okay. Yeah, Bone Spear will do just fine. Okay. So that's the weapon that the Masquerade Bone Spear build uses, obviously. That baby right there. That's what we're going to be using. So... Oh, I so much prefer being able to talk to you guys at the same time that I am playing. Let's hope this works. Again, I just apologize profusely for the audio that I know is going to be a problem, but nothing I can do right now. And you know what? Sometimes things just can't be perfect, can they? And that's okay. It doesn't mean you don't do them. I still want to play this game, and I still want to play it with you guys, and all that. I will be streaming on Twitch soon too, or at least on YouTube. I don't know. I can't get a hang, uh, get the hang of uh, Twitch right now as far as like <laughs> streaming on it. I don't know. I'm just weird. I, I do okay with YouTube streaming. I've done that for a while on various channels for different reasons, but um, would you please die? Die. Thank you. So kind of you. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I've, I'm more familiar with it and because of that, and the fact that I only have one monitor right now, um, I think that's probably what I will go with. YouTube streaming, but, ooh, that's fun. It goes through multiples. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. I, you know, I've played all the different characters at least a little bit now. And my Demon Hunter is my favorite character that I have because I have the most time into her and I'm very comfortable with that build. Um... And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's great to be able to play something that I can just, you know, tear through these levels with and murder everything. <laughs> um, you know, if you have a character that, in anything, I think, really, that you've built up over a good amount of time, then you're kind of set because... You have a lot of experience, you're really familiar with that character, and how they level, and how they work. And, um, it's just easier to, um, sort of function, I guess. <laughs> um, it's not as frustrating, you're not still trying to, like, build them up and get their gear and all that. Like, I've been using the gears of the Dreadlands or the God DH build. Um, with the Yang's recurve on my Demon Hunter for quite some time now, and it took hush. <laughs> uh, it took a long time to build that up. Um, I have I only really have like 256 hours, I think, into my Demon Hunter, but um, it feels like more. <laughs> um, but that's still oh wow, did you hear that truck? I don't know, maybe I'll edit it out if I can. Um, but yeah, I I feel like I have more, but that's still several times over what I have for any other character. So, um, you know, I'm super comfortable with her. So she's my favorite personal character that I have. But as far as like, if I was starting from scratch, what would I be most likely to choose over and over? Um, probably Necromancer or Wizard or Demon Hunter. I know Wizard is not the most popular of options. <laughs> um, I feel like though, since they buffed the Firebird, um, and the Mirror Image Firebird, I think is like actually a new build for the Firebird set, but they buffed that significantly. And I, it's so nice to see an S tier Wizard again. Um, I say again like I ever played this before, but I mean in the last season or two that I've been around for, the wizard builds have not been great, but I don't like the attitude of the wizard. She's, um, they're a little arrogant <laughs> for my liking, 
but I do like the weapons and the, the magic of it all. Um, I really like the play style, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, for the wizard. Um, very much so. So I'm glad to be playing a wizard, even though I won't be recording that. Um, but I will be recording everything I do for the season with my, um, my necromancer here. Uh, I love the necromancer because they have very powerful weapons right out the gate. You don't really have to deal with like, you know, taking a billion years to kill a, you know, a white monster. And when I say a white monster, I mean the ones where the names of the monsters are in white, the very basic, hush, <laughs> uh, the very, <clears throat> the very basic monsters. Um, you know, there's like white and then yellow and blue and purple, right? So. Uh, or, or you don't know, but, <laughs> but if you know what I'm talking about, then you know, um, there are different levels of monsters. So having to take forever to kill really basic, oh, I'm dying. Okay, great. Cool. Love it. <laughs> love that for me. Okay. Um, yes, I love it when I unlock corpse explosion because that's my favorite weapon. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like things that you can easily... That you can sort of easily level up with because leveling is not fun in my opinion i'm sure some people love leveling but i freaking hate it if i could never level <laughs> it'd be great but obviously that's not how that works is it so um uh, especially with seasonal characters you kind of you kind of have to level because you are always starting from scratch so there's that but um But yeah, so, sorry, I'm trying to kill things. Okay, uh, but yeah, my, my point though is that like every, every character has like different perks, I guess. And um, I, I recently tried a barbarian, not my cup of tea. <laughs> I'll probably level her up all the way just to have a barbarian, but I, I know the whirlwind barb is super popular. It's like whatever, but I... For me, it's just not really, it's not the play style I like. It's a brawly and, um, oh, you need to die because I want your shit. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Goblin. No. Ha ha ha. Die. Oh, if you go through that portal. Yeah, I didn't think so. Thanks. Oh. Really, you're still you're still gonna just pretend like you're not gonna die. You're gonna die. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Um, like how all these things are killing me, and I'm going after the goblins as always. But they have they have stuff, and I need stuff right now because it's a new character. So I'm I'm broke and naked and slow. <laughs> I need to fix it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I, I really like the wizard. This is why I don't talk in game at the same time usually because I just ramble, but some people like that and it's a chill channel and that's what I'm here to do. So whatever. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, then no, no problem. But, um, yes, die. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I really like the wizard because the wizard's very magical and the wizard has a lot of shooty, lasery cool things that I just think are really fun to play. Um, also her source, like the arcane, it's essence for the necromancer, but it's uh, arcane power, I think for the wizard, uh, it, it replenishes really fast. I think it's probably the most quickly replenishing, um, whatever this is called, <laughs> you know, um, of any of the characters. So it's kind of nice because you don't really have to worry too much about um, like running out so much uh, because the also the arcing power generating skills like for for this gal here for the necromancer this skill the bone spikes um, generates essence and then this skill as you can see the um, the bone spear requires essence to use um, and then I'll have to attack something with the bone spikes again in order to, you know, I mean, it'll replenish over time, but in order to get this, right? 
So um, having something that replenishes quickly is really nice because you don't really have to worry so much um, about using the powerful skills that require this source or substance, whatever it is for your character. Um, and that's really nice. Uh, it's nice to not have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, I, I love that about the wizard and I like, I just in, in general really like the, um, the, the general like skills and stuff that the wizard has and the play style is really fun. So, um, I like the wizard for that. Don't really like her attitude, <laughs> but, uh, I like, I like the wizard for that. Um, for the necromancer, the skills are powerful right out the gate. So is for the same for the wizard. Um, so like I said before, you don't really have to spend too much time being just like hacking away, you know, some of the brawly, some of the brawly characters, um, such as the crusader or the barbarian are super just, ha I mean, you just have to wail away at things to get them to die. And, uh, you have to kind of be up close and then it, it's just a whole thing. It's some people like that. And if you're a brawly in your face kind of player, then you'll probably love that. Um, you know, that's great for you, <laughs> but it's just, it doesn't tend to be my cup of tea. So, um, so yeah, for me, I would prefer something that, uh, I also don't like the, the witch doctor, um, is a little bit annoying because it's so pet reliant. You have to rely so heavily on your pets and I kind of like to, I don't know, actually fight. So I kind of like the balance that the necromancer, the wizard, and the demon hunter have. Those three have a really nice balance of being able to get up in people's faces and kill things. Um, and you know, you have some assistants and some pets if you want them. Um, but also it's totally reasonable to assume that you can stem, stand back um, and you can, you know, sort of snipe from afar. Not really, it's not really sniping, but you can sort of stand back and take things out from a distance, uh, which is really nice. So, uh, I like that balance. And I think in most games, I'm finding that that is something I enjoy. So because of that, those three are kind of my main, my main ones. Um, I would like to have a leveled up character in all, like for all the characters, just to have one of each. But I also kind of don't see the point in putting a lot of time into a character I know that I'm not going to play. Um, so right now, uh, my demon hunter is my main. And then of course now there's a new season, so I would like to complete the season and get some of the loot and all that. Um, but yeah, those three are my favorites. The Witch Doctor, I want to like the Witch Doctor, um, but they're, I don't know. It's just such a strange play style for me. Um, it's a lot of sort of management of what your pets are doing instead of being able to get in there and get in the action. If there's a build that I'm missing, like if there's a way to play the Witch Doctor in a more balanced fashion, uh, where you're not just relying on pets and spells all the time, uh, let me know, because that would be a lot of fun. And um, I would I would love to, to do that. But, <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't really see that happening for me right now. So, uh, yeah, those are, those are my top three, and I'll probably end up with a couple iterations of each. Um, but Mortana gets the gets the attention right now so i should probably do some bounties while i'm at it too just so i can get some stuff hmm so weird that's not really an upgrade you would think that it would be but I suppose not it's actually good huh interesting Okay. Um, one thing you want to do when you're leveling up a character is you always want to stop for, I mean, when you can without dying, uh, <laughs> you, you want to stop for skill and gear updates as often as you can. 
uh, because that's what's going to make you stronger and the less, less, <laughs> less prone to, uh, you know, dying and other things <laughs> like that. Oh, hush, Tyrion. Okay. Um. Well, oh, that's fun. And of course it's going to freeze. Why wouldn't it? Can you stop talking? I don't care. Uh, I, was that a goblin and I just missed it or something? I don't really know. I thought I saw a portal. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. It's probably just me. Um, but yeah. I hope any of that rambling made any sense to anybody. But this is just... Raven talks to herself while gaming and other people listen to it because because we're all bored. <laughs> Ew, bugs. Yeah. I am kind of over this. I'm gonna go with Grim's scythe for a minute. I wonder... 150... 150. Alright, so basically the same. So... Oh boy. I love this area, the ascension ritual, with my demon hunter because it's a speed build. And I can just fly around and kill everything and it's just fantastic. Oh yes, I much prefer the scythe. All right. Perfect. Wonderful. Where's the big guy? There you are. Hey, buddy. What up? All right. Level seven. Sweet. And I was just gonna do like uh, seven level or ten levels at a time, but. I might hang out and do a little bit longer in this episode. Oh, I'm so glad, though, that I can talk and uh, play at the same time. Because that means a lot more content for you guys. Because I don't have to do, like, double the, reco the recording. You know what I mean? It's just all in one go. Um, I guess I should probably tell you what I'm doing, yeah? <laughs> now that we're, like, what, 20 minutes in or something? Um, so the idea here is to basically just farm things until I get to level 70. Um, I, there are certain areas that I like to go because they have either a bunch of enemies, like this area has a lot of enemies, and so you can get XP really fast and you can level up really fast, um, which is awesome. And also you can get these uh, massacre experience bonuses because there are so many densely packed enemies. And also there are uh, more goblins. So this is my goblin farming route as well. And goblins have loot and goblins are just cool. And also I would love to get my rainbow wings at some point. Like I say at some point, poor Rax, he's been playing this game for what, like 10 years every day and doesn't have them. So they're super rare, but you can only get them by killing Rainbow Goblins and going to Whimsy Shire, Dale's, uh, there, I think it's Shire, and then I think Dale's the one that you open the portal, there's two, anyway, um, and then you have to get the super rare monster to spawn, and then it's really, really hard to get these wings, but they're really pretty, and I just like going to Whimsy, whatever it is anyway, I think it's Dale, but I'm probably wrong, tell me in the comments if you know. Uh, I always, I'm always like, okay, I'm going to remember, and I never remember which is which, so. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's just nice to come to a place like this where you can pretty much rest assured you're going to get a bunch of, a bunch of loot, kill a bunch of things, get a bunch of XP. Very great for leveling up. So, 
And this is just my general goblin farming slash leveling route. Um, speaking of Rax, uh, he has a lot of, well, and everybody else who's involved in Max Roll has a lot of great content over on Max Roll. Uh, dot, it's maxroll.gg. A uh, ton of Diablo 3 content if you're not familiar yet uh, with them. And so they have a whole rainbow goblin farming guide. Um, and it's designed for multiplayer, but I just pick a couple of my favorite areas off that list and just do it solo because um, I, I never play with four people. <laughs> like, maybe at some point if a bunch of narrators or something wanted to get together and do it, I would, but um, it's usually just two people. It's or one. It's me or it's, um, you know, like someone I know and me. Someone I know and I. Yeah. So, um, so I don't, the, the group stuff doesn't really help me much, um, just because that's how I choose to play. I kind of like playing this way, but, um, so many bugs, <laughs> gross. <laughs> So much more now. I like the accent of this um, necromancer too. The voice actress is really good. The cycle. <laughs> so expressive. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Blow them all up. No need. There's no one there to kill, but let's do it anyway. Ew. I have been so spoiled by my speed build with um, the demon hunter that I <laughs> I'm just like ah it's all so slow <laughs> but that's all right we'll get we'll get speed in here soon enough it's fine <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to sort of walk around and gather, like irritate, you know, like engage a bunch of a bunch of um, engage a bunch of enemies, make them follow you, kind of gather them around. This is probably dumb at this level. You should do it when you have more powerful weapons, but we'll find out. Um, and then when they're in the middle, just like take them all out. <laughs> And that's another way, especially when you have something like Corpse Explosion that you can use. It's like a great way to get that, um, you know, that kill bonus pretty quickly. Um, rather than trying to take them out one by one. Um, so. Just a tip. Yeah, Temple of the Firstborn has a lot of great um, like enemies, a lot of enemy density. So, a lot of XP, great for leveling fast. for getting those bonuses especially because when they're dense and you, you're not very fast yet you can get those bonuses um, without really needing to be fast to like get to all the enemies because they're just all around you so my bag is full all right well then let's uh let's 
go empty our bag. Shall teleport back to town. <laughs> Do I have any gems? I don't. Let's go train him real quick. Hi, I have a plan for you. Oh, that's a... Sorry, I don't. That is a blacksmith's plan, and it is a set piece. Um, plan Born's Defiance. That's, that's interesting. Cain. Born's Heart of Steel. Shoulders. I don't think I can use that yet. Born's Heart of Steel. 2% life, 20% XP. Hmm. I don't know that I have enough to have make that for me yet, but soon. Alright, so we got Born's set. That's good. Alright, let's see what my upgrades are here. Oh, I didn't even have anything for my head, so that'll be fine. Um, hmm. uh, I'll take that damage decrease for that for that toughness. Mm, I'm not going to sacrifice that toughness though. Mm, recovery is not that important. Um, all right, all right. Um, that looks good. So I have nothing else I need here. So I'm going to melt all these down and get these uh, salvage uh, crafting materials. And then your your initial weapon you can't um you can't melt down you know you can't salvage it you have to sell it so there you go all right um i think having something transmogged is something that i'm supposed to do for this season so let's um let's dye this because i don't really love this color oh it has to be level 12. oh okay well can i level you up yeah can i is that something I can do for you? Yeah? Okay. Cool. Now will you transmog this thing? Because it is ugly as sin. Thank you. <laughs> yeah? Great. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want a new look or if I just... Oh. Okay. She's a, she's a scary lady. Alright. Um, I kind of like being able to see her face, you know? Just... So let's dye it instead. Um, I really like... Uh, this color. But I like the idea of purple too. I don't know. Mm, this peachy color is really nice though. Maybe I'll just go for, like, elegant dye. I kind of like the way that looks. Great. Done. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, that looks better. Can I transmog this? Can I make this elegant? Oh. And... Oh, I can't dye belts. Can I die you? Okay. Oh, only this portion. Portion. Wow. Portion. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, can be dyed. Let's see, darling. I didn't know. Um, elegant dye. <sighs> Do you really go with anything? Not particularly. You might just have to go with black and pink right now, which I am totally okay with. Can I? Yeah, I can. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, no. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I think, I think we're just gonna stick with that for now. Sorry if, uh, you know what, maybe I will just um, transmog you instead. Because I just I think black is pretty much all we're gonna get out of that so let's can I transmog you instead and do some cool look at yeah okay <laughs> let's do something that looks 
Yes, absolutely. Sweet. I transmogged my outfit and that is um that's a that's a seasonal thing that we had to do, so sweet. You are looking fierce, my darling. Okay. So um I'm happier with that. <laughs> uh all right. Um, this is going to be kind of a short episode. I'm not even to level 10 yet, but I just want to make sure that like everything recorded and this setup is working so that I'm not doing this for like <laughs> four hours. And then it's like, oh, hey, you can't use any of your audio. Good job. <laughs> so um, that's where we're at right now. And so I will see you guys very shortly. Um, as you see this particular episode, this will have been an old like recording so i'm kind of ahead right now on this channel so but it should start being a oops sorry cracked my wrist <laughs> uh it should be a little bit more like up to date after a while i just have a huge backlog of gaming stuff um, i know it looks like i haven't been doing anything on the channel but i have like 12 videos that i need to edit and get out to you guys so uh, I have been working on it, <laughs> um, but with the move and everything, it just took, oh my gosh, the nerve of these cars. Okay, um, but, it just, <laughs> but it just took, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> uh, it just took a while with what the uh, moving and all of that and getting settled in and, and that whole adjustment period, um, but we are, we're back, so... There's going to be a bit of a gap again in the at the end of June. I'm going to try to ma not make a gap, but there's going to be a, probably a bit of a glitchy period of time there while I move into my real apartment. Um, right now, I'm just sort of in like a monthly Airbnb while I secure other housing. But I just wanted to see, you know, that's a whole thing. I'll ramble about it in another in another thing, but it's just easier to find real estate inventory when you are in the location that you want to live in, especially this location where the real estate inventory goes so quickly. Um, so yeah, I think I have found uh, an apartment complex that I love and I'll probably just um, stick with that for a year or so, um, but there will be an entire room dedicated to studio space and it will have paneling and um sound dampening and all of that eventually and so i'm super excited about that hopefully you guys are excited about that too and um yeah but in the meantime there's just going to be some traffic noise and there's nothing i can do about it and so thank you for your patience while the audio quality is uh, a little bit a little bit less than i would like it to be but um but we'll see uh, how that goes and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for being here have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time